Well, rain from Nicholas continues to fall this morning across South Louisiana. Some areas seeing ponding, while others remain in that flash flood watch. And our Zach Labe picks up our team coverage now. He's live near Ward Creek with a look at conditions there. Zach, good morning to you. Hey, good morning, guys. Yeah, right now it's not really raining. We're seeing a few sprinkles here and there, but for the most part, it's pretty dry. Uh, we're actually standing in front of Wards Creek, right by Oshner at the Grove, and the water level is pretty high. I come by this area almost every single day, and normally it's very low. It looks like a small stream where sometimes there's hardly any water at all at this spot. Uh, but right now, the water is extremely high for uh, what it normally looks like. But since we've been here, the water level actually looks like it's going down some. Uh, but like Brian's been saying, there's going to be water on the roadway, so be careful if you're going out driving. Uh, any standing water that could be a risk for hydroplaning. Also, like we always say, turn around, don't drown, don't try to risk it. Just find an alternate route uh, so you don't end up getting your car stuck. Uh, and, you know, speaking of Ward Creek, we've been talking about drainage. Yesterday, if you were with us, we talked to DPW about how they've been cleaning out drains around the city, hopefully improving drainage. So hopefully we won't see any flooding with any of this rain we're getting. But if you do have a concern about flooding, there are sandbag locations listed on our website. So be, free, be sure to look for that story on our website and on our free BR Proud app. But for now, reporting live, Zach Labe, NBC Local 33 News.